going guys this is Wes from Wesley World if you haven't checked out my channel already check it out I got a lot of cool excavation videos there but before you do that check out the extreme sandbox this is a collaboration with them it's called outside the sandbox I'm gonna be showing you guys how to run a hydraulic hammer on an excavator so I'll show you guys how to hook it up how to run it I'll show you some footage of me running it and I'll give you some tips and tricks as well stick around this is it here this has got quick couplers on it I do have some protectors on it that I made um, these are actually ball hitch covers for a tow hitch um, and they they slip over it and protect it from getting banged around um, so that, that worked out pretty good for the quick couplers there I do have quick couplers set up on my machine here so the hoses snap right on to that which makes it real easy I do have a quick coupler here which I did make another video with the stream sandbox check that one out too if you haven't already so I'm gonna get this baby hooked up and show you guys how it works all right I'm gonna drop the bucket Got the quick coupler here Okay, so I'm gonna wipe the couplers off. I'm gonna make sure you get all the grease off, all the grime off both of them, and this is gonna snap right on. It takes a little bit of force, but all right, it's on there. I can turn this here to lock it, and that's on. I'm gonna go off the other side. So now that that's on both sides, I'm gonna turn the hydraulic pressure on. So before you turn one side on, you wanna make sure both sides are connected. If you don't do that, then it's gonna pressurize the hammer and you won't be able to get that second hose on. So all I gotta do is turn these here. Uh, it can be a little tight sometimes. There we go, one side. Now that it's all connected, it's hammer time. All right, I got a few hard spots here. I can show you guys how it works and I'll throw in some other footage for you guys. So stick around. Okay, so now that I got the hammer hooked up, you do want to wear some earplugs. I got some patriotic ones here. Uh, it is pretty loud. I'm not going to throw them in now because I'm just going to show you guys really quick here how it works. Okay, so now that's set up, I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to go to the settings to pick the hydraulic hammer tool. Alright, so I will go to my hammer, pick OK, then I'm going to run the hydraulics again. It's ready to go. Okay. So you want when you got a thumb on there like that, you want to be careful. If I tuck the thumb all the way, I'm gonna damage the hoses, so I have to keep it in that position there. Alright, so one thing with hammers is you don't want to be at too much of an angle, and you also don't want to be prying stuff with it or pulling too hard. You can pull rock away when it's loose. But when it's not loose, don't pull away with it. So I'm going to back up a little bit here. Go back to the home screen, get my camera. So there's a couple spots here that I'll show you. So with this hammer, it has a, you can't dry fire it. So I'm, I'm pushing a button and nothing's happening. You have to put pressure on it in order to make it work. So let's see if I can find a, a hard spot here. There we go. So. I'll lift the machine up a little bit. You can see how it went down. 
lift the machine up slightly, and that's recommended. And then I'll hit the hit the pump control. All right, so that's that's how you use it. Go to the next spot, lift up slightly. And then, I mean, right here, I probably don't even have to lift the machine up too much. But you can get better leverage that way and better performance if you lift up slightly. It'll give you a little more um, movement in the hammer before you drop down completely. So that's pretty much it. I mean, these, these hammers are really tough. Again, push down a little bit. Hammer it. And this is a really hard spot right here. I, I need to kind of take this out. So. Once you get used to it, you'll be able to feel it if it's if it's breaking apart or not. All right, so I'll break this up for you guys, so you can see what it does. I mean, it works pretty good. I mean, around here this rock's really hard, so you need a hammer. careful with it it is pretty heavy so you want to you know when you're moving around you you want to be you know aware of that how heavy it is 
All right, guys. Well, that's how you use the hydraulic hammer. Um, I'll show you guys what I did really quick here. Just broke up that rock. Um, and that is really hard rock there. So this is it again. This is an MPK GH6. Weighs 2,300 pounds. Um, and it is powerful. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. It's another collab with the Extreme Sandbox. Check out their channel. Also check out my channel, Wesley World, if you haven't already. Lots of cool excavation videos there. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.